I am Darasa, 49 years of age and uh, an Ethiopian. I came here for the uh, lung treatment for the lung cancer uh, disease or problem I had. It was back in April where I, I came to know that I had a, a tumor on the right side of my lung and I had to look for the best medical facilities and treatments worldwide. Where I came to know that Yashoda in Hyderabad is the best one and came here and went through a series of uh, medical treatments here in Yashoda uh, Hospital. I went through the lobectomy uh, operation, I went through the chemotherapy and radiation therapy. I am thankful for the, for the Yashoda Hospital medical staff, especially for uh, Dr. Uh, Srikant, who is a consultant oncologist who, who, who did uh, lung operation. Uh, and his entire uh, staff and crew members. I'm also thankful to Dr. Nickel, who took me through the uh, chemotherapy treatment and Dr. Uh, Kiran, who took me through the radiation therapy. And now I'm feeling good. The tumor is no more there. I'm safe and I'm uh, in good uh, health status. I'm th th thank thankful for the entire Yashoda Somajibuda staff. The coordination and the treatment of the entire staff of Yashoda Somajibuda is wonderful. From the supportive staff, administrative staff, from transport staff, the wheelchairs up to the senior consultants and high level doctors. It's a coordinated and one targeted effort, and that is really wonderful, which the hospital has to keep on and I'm really thankful uh, for all the services I had and for this opportunity. Thank you very much. This is regarding with this gentleman, Mr. Derse, who has come from uh, Ethiopia. When we first investigated him, he was found to have a, a locally advanced uh, right upper lobe lung adenocarcinoma. And we initially gave chemotherapy because it was stuck to the a pleura and stuck to the mediastinal pleura and then the costal pleura and it was uh, not initially suitable for surgery so we gave him a, a course of new adjuvant chemotherapy of three cycles then followed by we got a uh, PET scan assessment uh, scan done and we found it definitely there was a partial response and it was then suitable for a surgical resection then we called this gentleman back and uh, after adequate workup we uh, took him up for a surgery which was uh, done by a minimally invasive procedure technique which, which we call it as thoracoscopic or uh, VATS procedure wherein we make a small incision and then uh, through the camera and then the instruments which we use to mobilize and then manipulate the tumor and then the vascular structures we though it was stuck reasonably badly it was a tough case to surgically to remove it, we could successfully do it because of the uh, extensive and then advanced equipment what uh, we had here. We could remove the upper lobe for him and then preserve the lower lobe. We used uh, the laser as well as uh, staplers to resect the lung and also resect the vascular structures. So post-operatively from the day three onwards you know, he was, he could, he could walk, he was in the ICU for only one day and from the third post-op day he was up and walking he was having his food from the second post-op day unfortunately he was also an young patient so he could uh, manage to mobilize him soon after the surgery basically because of the age as well as the minimally invasive uh, technology what we used by what we call it as VATS so he was discharged on fifth day from the hospital and then by tenth day his sutures and the tube were out, all the tubes were out and he was I think we uh, by two weeks he was almost near normal as what he was without the cough so he had cough even before surgery in spite of the chemo because the tumor his cough, cough has dr drastically came down of surgery he could walk without much of discomfort without cough and without uh, uh, breathlessness and maybe after the surgery from the third week or fourth week he completed his further courses of chemo and, and radiation and uh, uh, he we could successfully send him back to his country in a reasonably 
fit and normal condition.